Assalamualaikum, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, welcome once again to my online class. I am Isam Maksudur Rahman, lecturer of English, Paradagar Ideal School and College. Today, I will discuss a very important topic. Today, our topic is the use of preposition part 1. You can easily get full marks in this topic if you follow some rules or technique. In this class, I will try my best to teach you some rules or technique so that you can get a good mark in this topic. So let's start our class. The first question is, what is preposition? Pre means before and position means to put. So, preposition means to put before. The word which is used before noun and pronoun and which makes a relation among the other words of that sentence is called preposition. In, on, in, into, for, of, from, at, by, with, upon, under, before, after, over, beyond, against, above, up, among, between two. It is our prepositions. For example, he went to Dhaka. Here, to is a preposition is used before Dhaka. And Dhaka is a noun. So, in this sentence, preposition to is used before a noun. She put her arms about him. Here, about is a preposition and it is used before him. Him is a pronoun. So, in this sentence, preposition about is used before a pronoun. Number three, a soldier values honor above life. Here, above is a preposition and is used before life. Life is a noun. So, in this sentence, preposition above is used before a noun. So, we can say preposition is used before noun or pronoun. Now, we will learn some rules or technique which will help us to get a good mark in this topic. Number one, at. At is used before fixed time, any fixed time, 6 a.m., 7 p.m., or so on. Number two, at meal time. We have four meals time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. So, at is used before meal time. Number three, at part of the day. We have several part of the day such as dawn, morning, noon, afternoon, dusk, evening, night, midnight, and late night. At is used before this part of the day. Number four, in plus the plus part of the day. Look carefully whenever uh, part of the day preposition at is used but whenever article the is used before part of the day the preposition in is used before the part of the day number five in in is used before month we have 12 months in january in february in march in april and so on season in is used before season we have six seasons spring autumn late autumn and so on so we can say preposition in is used before season year in preposition in is used any year before any year such as 90 in 1952 in 1971 in 1917 and so on in is used before epoch making incident epoch making incident such as in elizabethan age in restoration age in 
A romantic s. Number six. One. Preposition on is used before day. We have seven days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, one Saturday, one Sunday, one Monday, one Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. On is used before date. So we can say preposition on is used before any date. Such as on 13th July, today is 20, 22nd August and so on. Now, we will solve this example. This example is missed based on rules number 1. I get up dash 4.30 am. 4.30 am is a fixed time. And we have learned before fixed time preposition at is used. So, here will be at. Dash morning. Morning is a part of the day. We have learned that before part of the day, preposition at is used at morning. I say, I say my prayer dash the morning. Morning is a part of the day and before it, preposition uh, uh, article the is used. So, we can say here will be preposition in. Dash Friday, I go to mosque. Friday is a day of seven day. We have learned uh, on is used before day. So here will be one. One Friday I go to mosque. Dash February I go to Kumilla. Here February is a month. So we have learned <coughs> preposition is is used before month. So here will be preposition in. In February, I go to Kumila to visit my uncle and dash spring. Spring is a season. Here will be in spring. Here will be preposition in. I go to Kuwakata to enjoy natural beauty. John Keats was born dash the romantic S. The romantic S is an epoch making incident. So, here will be one on the romantic s sorry it will be it will be it will be in in the romantic s in the romantic s rules number two number one greet noun whenever greet is used as noun preposition for is used after greet Greedy adjective. Whenever greedy is used, preposition after is used after greedy. Number two, lack. Lack. Whenever lack is used as verb, preposition in is used after lack. Lack noun. Whenever lack is used as noun, preposition of is used before or after after lack number three pride pride is used as both noun and verb whenever pride is used as noun or verb preposition in is used after pride proud adjective whenever proud is used as adjective preposition of is used after proud Number four, ban. Noun. Whenever ban is used as noun, preposition on is used after ban. Ban. Verb. Whenever ban is used as verb, preposition from is used after ban. Number five, hinder. Verb. Whenever hinder is used as verb, preposition from is used after hinder. Hindrance. Noun. Whenever hinder is used as noun, preposition to is used after hindrance. Now, we will solve this example. This example is missed 
based on rules number one. I have no greet. Here greet is a noun and preposition for is always used after greet. Here will be preposition greet uh, for. I have no greed for wealth. I am greedy. Dash name and fame. So we can say uh, after greedy. Preposition after is used. So I can say I am greedy after name and fame. Luna is proud. Preposition of is always used after the adjective proud. Proud of her blue blood we should not pride dash wealth here pride is a verb and we have learned after pride we will always use preposition in so here will be in we should not pride in wealth we should hinder the common people here hinder is used as Bhal. After hinder, there will be from. Hinder from. Uh, we should hinder the common people from using poly bag because it is banned. Whenever banned is used as verb, preposition from is always used after banned. Here will be preposition from. Uh, okay, yeah. mm, polypack because it is banned from using. He has lack dash common sense. Here, lack is used as noun. And we know that whenever lack is used as noun, preposition of is always used after lack. Here will be of. He has lack of common sense. Rules number three. Number one, aspire. Whenever aspire is used as verb, preposition after is used after aspire. Aspiration is a noun and preposition for or after is used after aspiration. Number two, competent. Competent is an adjective and preposition is used in preposition in is used after competent competency competency is a noun and preposition for is used after competency number three capable or able capable or able is an adjective and preposition of is always used after capable or able Capability, ability is a noun and preposition for is always used after capability or ability. Number four, defined. Defined is an adjective and preposition from, preposition from is always used after different. Indifferent. Indifferent is also an adjective but here Preposition to is always used after indifferent. Okay, my dear students, now we will solve this example. This example is made based on rules number three. Some people aspire dash races. Aspire is a verb, and we said that after aspire preposition after is used aspire after races because they have aspiration for aspiration dash races aspiration is a noun and here uh, uh, preposition for or after is always used after aspiration here will be for or after uh, because they have aspiration for or after races they are not competent dash ac being races 
competent is an adjective and preposition in is always used after competent so here will be preposition in because they have no competency dash receiving resource competency preposition for is always used after the noun competency so here will be preposition for they have no competency for receiving resources runa is capable or able dash doing the work capable or able we have learned after capable or able preposition of is used so here will be of capable or able of doing the work she has the capability or ability dash doing the work capability ability uh, after capability or ability preposition for is used so here will be for capability for she has the capability or ability for doing the work she is defined defined is an adjective and preposition from is always used after defined so here will be preposition from she is defined from others because she is not indefined dash her work indefined is also an adjective but here preposition to is always used after the adjective indefined so here will be to he is indifferent she is not indefined to her work rules number 4 this rules is made based on voice active or passive voice number 1 by plus doer what is doer doer means the work done by someone or something so if there is a doer we will used preposition by in passive voice number 2 known plus 2 plus 2 plus doer whenever there will be a doer preposition to is always used after known number 3 cover contain says fill there may be two types of dear person or things whenever this doer is a person preposition by is used after cover content says fill and whenever this doer is a thing preposition with is used after cover content says and fill number 6 number 4 annoy vex irritate surprise astonish charm fascinate wonder and stare there may be two types of dear to our person and things whenever this doer is a person preposition preposition by is used after annoy vex irritate surprise astonish charm fascinate wonder and stare i again said that whenever this doer is a person preposition by is used after annoy vex irritate surprise astonish charm fascinate wonder and stare and this doer is a thing preposition at is used after annoy vex irritate surprise astonish charm fascinate wonder stare i again said whenever the uh, this doer is a thing preposition at preposition at is used after annoy vex irritate surprise astonish charm fascinate wonder and stare my dear students now we will solve this example this example is made based on rule number 4 the work is done dash mr rahman 
दर्क इज डान डैश मिस्टर रहमान सो मिस्टर रहमान इज ए टर्ड सो प्रिपोजिशन बाई उल बी यूज हेयर बाई मिस्टर रहमान इज दर्क इज डान बाय मिस्टर रहमान एंड इट इज ऑल्सो ए पैसिव बॉयस he is known dash wall for his honesty wall is a dual and we know after known preposition to is used always here will be to known to all nobody is annoyed dash him him we have learned after annoy there will be two types of preposition by or at whenever this drawer is a person here will be by or whenever this drawer is a thing here will be at we see, we can see that this drawer is a person and preposition by is used here by him moreover everybody is charmed dash his behavior his behavior is a drawer and it is a thing so here will be preposition at moreover everybody is charmed at his behavior one day while returning home he was disgusted dash a high sacker we have learned after sized there will be after sized there will be two types of preposition with by and by and with this whenever this drawer is a person here will be preposition by and whenever this drawer is a thing here will be with a hijacker is a drawer and it is a person so preposition by is used here said by a hijacker he was filled dash fear here fear is a drawer and it is a thing so preposition with is used here he was filled with fear okay my dear students look at the board number 5 one put one wire put one means wire put off put off means take off put off means take off put out extinguish put out extinguish put one wire means puridhan kara put off take off means khule fela put out extinguish means nivye fela put off leap temporarily means ayasthayi bhabe boshobash kara put up with tolight means shojjo kara number 6 die of disease die of disease whenever any person is died died any disease preposition of is used after die die by accident whenever any person is died any accident preposition is by is used after uh, uh, die die for country people freedom summer may die for country people or freedom die from overeating over drinking orthat jodi roge mara jay tahole hobe die of jodi accident e mara jay tahole hobe die by jodi desher jonno ba janoganer jonno ba sadhanotar jonno mara jay tahole hobe die for ebong otirikto kono kichu jemon over eating ba over drinking er jonno jodi keu mara jay tahole hobe die from number 7 killed murdered there will be two types of preposition with by and this work is done by instrument or by a person whenever killed or murder is done by uh, is da, da, uh, is uh, done with an instrument preposition with is used after killed or murdered whenever this work is done by someone or some body preposition by is used after killed or murdered 
my dear students now we will solve this example this example is made on the base of rule number 5 you should put dash new days new days means notun poshak poridhan kora put tar hobe ekhane there will be the preposition one put one poridhan kora you should put on new days toma notun poshak poridhan kora uchit and dash put the light when you go out je tumi jokhon bahire chole jabe tokhon ki korbe light bondho kore debe put off put off and put off the light when you go out in the outside you have to put you have to put many things bahire tomake onek kichu shojjo korte hobe put up with put up with many things otherwise you will die accident so there will be the preposition by you will die by accident many people die die of cancer disease whenever there is a disease the preposition of is used some people die dash the freedom freedom country or people the preposition for is used here some people die for the freedom of the country a few people die dash overeating whenever there is overeating or there is overdrinking or excessive something excessive the preposition from is used so here will be the preposition from a few people die from overeating some people are killed dash a gun killed there may be two types of preposition by and with whenever this drawer is a this drawer is a person the preposition by is used after killed and murdered but whenever this drawer this drawer or this drawer is a thing the preposition with is used after killed or murdered Uh, here the drawer a gun is a thing so the preposition with is used here with some people are killed with a gun and some people are murdered dash terrorist terrorist is a drawer and it is a person so the preposition by is used here my students i try my best to teach you some rules of preposition In our next class we will discuss another topic till now Allah Hafiz